we are in the booth of uh, FNSS and there are two new vehicles to see. One of them is PARS 4 6x6. Six six. It, we have three new vehicles. Right, but... 6x6 six six and 8x8. Eight 8x8 eight. Eight eight and then yeah. the uh, air... Uh, unmanned ground, unmanned vehicle. ground vehicle. Could we start with your uh, PARS 4 6x6? Okay, six six? Uh, both vehicles are the representative of new generation PARS what we call PARS-4. Mm -hmm. uh, the basic uh, specifications uh, include uh, heavier protection from mine mm -hmm. threats and for uh, ballistic, of course, kinetic energy threats. And also, uh, we are introducing IED protection concept uh, with these vehicles. Uh, and especially the 6x6 you see behind me is equipped with a lot of state-of-the-art uh, subsystems, uh, more, all towards uh, more and better protection of the troops inside. It should be very difficult to protect something, to uh, produce a vehicle like this because it has too many features together. Yeah, yeah. It takes a lot of complex architecture to uh, enable everything work in harmony, of course, and mostly. Uh, heavily electronically loaded equipments uh, mm -hmm. we are talking about so EMI interference and everything is, is of essence here so a uh, lot of systems engineering a lot of uh, trials and testing uh, along with all the uh, reliability testing of course have been uh, made on, on such vehicles uh, then it should have interest from abroad as well as from Turkey. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, this 6x6 is basically for special operations as mm -hmm. defined by Turkish security forces. Uh, and a lot of uh, foreign customers, when they see the vehicle and learn more about the uh, qualifications and capabilities, will be interested in the product, of course. I mean, that's what we expect. What would you like to... Uh emphasize when you are talking to them which character of the vehicle would you like to emphasize more? well as, as I stated uh, protection levels uh, achieved in MRAV vehicles uh, have been exceeded literally exceeded in this vehicle so more mind protection than let's say an MRAV, MRAV. vehicle mm -hmm. and of course ballistic and kinetic energy protection is better than uh, MRAV vehicles uh, with a much relatively much lower silhouette, uh, with a lot of infrastructure, electronics infrastructure that allow uh, integration of uh, state-of-the-art subsystems. What you see on these vehicles now is uh, complicated jamming systems as required by the user, mm -hmm. as well as uh, acoustic uh, detection systems that work together with the uh, turrets, remote mm -hmm. weapon stations, uh, all so together. So automatically towards the. Yes, yes, and also, as you see, uh, as a you know different, unique maybe future, per the request of the customer, two two remote weapon stations are working uh, together, simultaneously in parallel, and uh, talking to each other. So I think this vehicle takes a lot of will take a lot of trains. Uh, crew and personnel. And for the uh, PARS 4 8x8, uh, like yes, it, it has all the same uh, capabilities and features that are mentioned. On top of that, the uh, power pack uh, is equipped with a higher, much higher uh, rated uh, engine and, of course, accompanying transmission. Uh, and also, the protection levels are equal to what I just mentioned. Uh, and it is made for uh, competing in the Turkish New Gen ACV program. Uh, and also, the weapons station you see on the vehicle is, is new for FNSS. It is a newly designed 35 millimeter re remote weapon station. And also, with, through our cooperation with the STM company of Turkey, there is a uh, aerial vehicle uh, yes, UAV. Uh, yes UAV uh, on top of it uh, to, to enhance the uh, reconnaissance uh, missions so 
with these two new vehicles, do you foresee to to, to go further other new markets in, in the world? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, we never uh, think that we cannot sell a vehicle to any specific country. So, I mean, this is valid for every 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 country in the world, and uh, wherever competition uh, will be there. You so, the both vehicles are. Uh, as good as, as a minimum, I can say, as good as any other state-of-the-art uh, wheeled uh, vehicle in the world. So, it will be anywhere. And when we come to the uh, unmanned, heavy unmanned yeah. uh, ground yeah. vehicle, yeah. which is yeah. armed, I suppose. Yeah. That, well, this started as a simple uh, story, mm -hmm. I would say, because we were considering to do an unmanned vehicle and uh, we had uh, several M113 on hand that, yes. that weren't being used. So we said, let's try something with one of these uh, still working M113s. And uh, in little less than two years time, this turned into an almost pretty much advanced uh, unmanned ground vehicle, heavy class. Uh, but, I mean, it, it is because it uh, got a lot of attention from the user base in Turkey and through the I mean, help of SSP, uh, this is now turning into a program mm -hmm. where only five vehicles will be considered. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in the stage of uh, talking and negotiating the definition of, mission definition of the vehicles. Uh, it's, evolved from a simple remote weapon control station into a, a really advanced uh, unmanned vehicle with five different missions on each vehicle and with some very, very early stages of autonomy mm -hmm. have been uh, applied on these vehicles per the request of the customer. So, mm. I mean, autonomy wasn't something we were considering when we started this at the early phases, but because of the customer push, uh, this is turning into an autonomous vehicle now. And uh, we have demonstrated few uh, features of, of that autonomy here as well. Last time, two years ago at the IDEF, you presented um, another one, an old version. It yes. was just a remote control. Yeah, it was little more than a toy, I would say. But we knew it was going to get attention. So it did its part and it... Uh, helped us create a new program in Turkey uh, with that uh, heavy UGV concept. So FNSS is a pioneer in many, in many ways for new vehicles. We, st we see we Gölge uh, Suvari as a new one. Do you consider to have something even heavier or faster or bigger uh, for yeah, the future? I mean, heavier, export yeah, heavier depends on the mission role, hmm. uh, but for the time being, even this one, uh, around 10 tons, little above 10 tons maybe, is considered as a heavy UGV. And I don't think it will ever become a 40, 50 ton vehicle, but uh, depending on the mission role, it could be a heavier vehicle easily because the infrastructure applied here is going to be applicable on every other vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it may be, but it's, it all depends on uh, the customer requirements. We can take this as a technology demonstrator mm -hmm. and uh, we'll take it to wherever customer wants in terms of uh, mission role. Last question is about Zaha. Uh, I, we hear that the tests are going very well. Maybe you are on the, even at the serial production, I don't know. Uh, well, the tests have been very, I mean, take uh, very long and uh, because of the uh, vehicle's role, I mean, mm -hmm. you can't just test it and finish it in a short period of time. And there has been extensive testing on land and on sea, and uh, they are still ongoing, but uh, we are very close to the end of it. So uh, as, as we get good results during the endurance and qualification testing, we are more uh, encouraged to start Sale production slowly, of course, mm -hmm. uh, so that if something needs to be changed, we wouldn't be uh, going back to square one. But some changes still can be made. But 
the same time uh, being able to deliver all 27 vehicles in a timely manner required us to start production. So with the confidence level increasing, we are also into sale production. But of course, we are not going to complete all the vehicles before the uh, tests are completed, we, which is going to happen soon, though. I mean, the, uh, the tests will be completed before the end of the year. And uh, that will enable us to complete, continue and complete uh, the production vehicles uh, sometime mid next year, probably. So uh, we are still talking to the customer uh, what makes sense because uh, the, the, the LHT ship needs to be completed so that these vehicles will be useful. Uh, so they have to go in, in parallel. Together, yeah, yes. Together. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you.